when, when I was in college, I just used to see guys doing this amazing stuff. And they tell me they did they used Photoshop, they tell me they used 3D. I have, have no idea. And you have no one to ask. And I even had a mean lecturer who thought that if he gives me his secrets, I'll go and make more money than you. <laughs> you know? But you guys are so lucky now that tutorials are there. Like, it's just that wanting to learn or now knowing what, what excites you. Like, like Kevin found, found out that it's 3D that excites him. So he's able to now, that passion gives him the patience to look for the right tutorial online, to go through the learning curve of learning how to do it. How can you that he to do tutorials every day? <laughs> <laughs> so even like for Kamal, you know, like he, he knew, in his mind he knows what he wants to imagine, what he wants to create. So the learning curve to then figuring out how this app works is, is faster. And the tutorials are there, so it's, it, this is the best time. You feel like if, if digital art is what you're thinking, nice, it's such a, it's such a, like everything's available. I really don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think most people, it's, it's so easy and it's so intuitive, most people, and it's like getting lost with game. I mean, so many people who have digital instruments, phones, iPads, whatever, they get into playing games and stuff. There are so many apps available and a lot of them can, I find, sort of, uh, I get stuck at a point where I can't, because I'm not conversant with the app itself, and I have no patience to spend more time. Um, I, I jump between apps, and it's possible to do that as well. Um, experimental stuff, I suppose, that's the way to go. For